Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to another English class. And let's check something. Vamos a ver si están la mayoría acá. Puedo notar de que no tengo este tengo activo del fondo. No tengo activo mi fondo. Ok. So, um, let's check who is already ready to start the class. So here we have Juancito. Good evening. Juan. Good evening, teacher. Okay, how are you? I'm how fine. are you this Friday? Friday, Friday, okay? Yes. Yeah, finally. Yeah. Finally. We were <laughs> waiting for, for Friday, as always, right? Yes. Okay, so that sounds really good. Estamos con buen ánimo. Yes. Oh, perfect. Okay, very nice. So, um, a question for the rest. I don't know if everybody's okay. Saul, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you tonight? Everything in order? Nice. Yeah, yeah, all in order. Okay, excellent. So here we have also the others. So welcome back, Elia, Frank, Gisela, Flor, uh, Silvia, Elizabeth, Liz, Hello, Carly, teacher. Alexandra. Mm -hmm. How are you, Giselita? Everything in order? Hi. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Frank. Hi, hi there. Okay, I like to hear you again, Hello, Frank, Gisela. Here we have also Carly. Good evening, Carly. We missed you yesterday. I know. <laughs> Everybody was crying because of you. Come on. I guess. Yes. I guess yes. True. That's 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 is really hard. It is like a virus and it is really common. Es bastante común. <clears throat> Yo tengo casi una semana y todavía no me repongo al 100. Creería que hasta mañana. But let's see. How are we for tonight? Okay. And we have class number A. That's really Nice, because it means that we are about to finish unit two. Dos clases más y vamos a la unidad dos. Twelve classes and we finish this course. Doce clases y terminamos este curso. Cada vez más cerca. I don't know why I consider that the classes are passing by like weekly. Si la siento como que están pasando más rápido, no sé si soy yo. O, o es realmente que la dinámica está funcionando bastante bien con ustedes. And um, we are... Uh, Taking advantage of the time. Estamos aprovechando el tiempo. So how to use may and might. That's the topic for tonight's class. How to use may and might. This is the class number eight. Beginners number four. Okay. So we're going to start with a simple question here. And this simple question is like this. Do you like your names or would you prefer to have different names okay te gustan le gustan sus nombres o, le, o preferirían tener nombres diferentes we can use instead of for this instead of significa en lugar de in my case my name is Josué Gustavo I don't like Gustavo I I don't know I don't like but some people like so in my case, instead of Gustavo, I would like to have, for example, Marcos or some other, or, or yeah, some other name. Yeah, both means ambos. For example, I like both, me gustan ambos, or I don't like both, no me gustan ambos, okay? So that's it. If you can say, I don't complain. No, como se llama, no, no me quejo, I don't complain. Okay, when uh, have you noticed that there are some ver some names that they match or they fit? Cuando decimos match or fit, 
quiere decir que ellos encajan. There are some names that they really fit. Yes. Like Jose Luis, like Maria Jose, they fit because they are kind of common. And there are some other, like Carlos Mauricio, it sounds like a so popular name, suena como un nombre de novela, right? So that's kind of different. But the question in here is if you like your name, y a ti te gusta tu nombre, okay? You say if you like your name, okay? So we're going to start here by listening to some of you. What about if we start now with Juancito? What about you, Juan? Do you like Hello, your, teacher. your names? Yes. Okay? No problem. No problem. Okay. I like both. You I like both names? Yeah, perfect. That's really good. You have accepted your name. Yes. yes. Okay. And so, okay. Juancito, no problem. He likes both names, as he says. Yes. Perfect. What about Saul and then Frank? Saul? Saul, your name is Adalberto. Do you like both names? Mm, yeah, no, I, I don't complain. No. You don't complain. No problem with your name, no. right? Perfect. No, no, no effect. It doesn't affect you. The, the names don't affect you. Okay. Yeah, because in some cases, there are some students in kindergarten or in first, second grade, uh, they have suffered of bullying. Algunos sufren de bullying. Yes, in some cases, in algunos casos, definitely. Thank you, Saul. What about Francisco? And then we go with Carly. <clears throat> hey, Frank, do you Sorry. like your names? Sorry. Yes. I have... I have a, como se dice, una historia. Un, una, a, a story, I have a story. Que tengo recuerdos así que cuando estaba tipo primer grado, me preguntaban el nombre y yo decía Juan Cristóbal Colón. All right. Porque yes. asociaba al Cristóbal Colón de... <laughs> yes, like, like the social studies, estudios sociales, right? Exactly. Ok, Juan Cristóbal Colón. I am from yeah. Italy. So it's Italia, le habré dicho. Okay, nice. <laughs> yes, actually, realmente él creo que era de Italia, aunque vino en una en embarcaciones españolas. But yes. in uh, 1492, 1492, parece. Yeah, that's it. So, a very interesting story. So, that was like your introduction for your name, right? Okay, perfect. Um, what about Frank and then Carly? Do you like your name? I don't complain. You don't complain. Your name is Francisco Ernesto. No problem, yes. right? Problem. Okay. Nice. Until now, everybody likes uh, his or her name. What about Carly? And then we go with Elia. Hmm, maybe you know. <laughs> no, I don't know. Dan you tell me. Dan Daniela, yes. I like my name, but my first name, Carla, no what, me gusta. I don't what, like it. What happened with Carla? Why you don't like it? I don't know why, but my father has a, a similar name. Carlos. His name is Carlos. So Carlos, so you're Carla. Tal vez mi mamá estaba bien enamorada. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is like that. Sometimes it is. Ya le pasó, happens. pero ya no me puede cambiar el nombre. No, oh, ya estuvo, ya se vuelve a enamorar. Okay, Carly, in your case, maybe you consider that it is common? No, mm, that's not no. the reason. No tanto. Okay. Nice, but Carly. He conocido a Carla, pero todas tienen diferente nombre. Okay. Una Carla Vidal, Stephanie, Elizabeth, mm -hmm. pero de Carla Daniela casi no, nunca. Okay, nunca me he encontrado ninguna. Okay, Carly, N yes, neither me. And I have had a lot of students, tengo muchos estudiantes. <laughs> and I don't remember Carla Daniela. No, you are the first. But uh, instead of Carla, would you like to have another? Which one? Mm, qué buena pregunta, no sé. Yes, have you ever thought about it? <laughs> no. No. No, no, no really. In my case, yes, I, I like Marcos. 
yes, I don't know why I like that, that name for me, but in your case, maybe you have not thought about, I would like to have Briseida instead of Carla, for example, okay? Or yes, Super. yeah, or Jahaira or something like that, right? <laughs> right? No, I no. Said no. Janira, no. <laughs> No. Oh, come on. Carly, no sé. Andrea suena bonito, pero no con Daniela. Jaira va a salir bailando también. Por eso, sí, como man. Carly bien bailarina. Okay. <ríe> no. Sí. Uh, which Ay, one? Se fue a bailar, dice. Ah, ya se fue. Ah. No, Carly se fue por eso que anda bien relax. Okay. No, mentí. <ríe> uh, which one do you say, Carly? Uh, ¿Qué? Okay. Uh, Andrea. Andrea, sounds good. Andrea Daniela. Yeah, sí, pero be. no con Daniela. No, con Daniela, with another. Okay. Thank you, Carly. The first one who doesn't like her name. <laughs> okay, what about Flor and then he said that. Okay, Flor de Maria, do you like? I don't complain. You don't complain, Flor de Maria. Really yes. good. I don't know why it sounds like a name of a place. Suena como un nombre de un lugar. Uh, uh, it, for me, I don't know why Flor de Maria it sounds like this, but okay, good for you, Flor. No problem. So thank you. What about Hisel and then Carlos? I like my my name. Yes, and that's really good. You don't know how many people complain about his or her name. Mucha gente se queja de su nombre. Mm -hmm. Okay, Gisela Beatriz. Do you like Beatriz? Do you like Gisela? Um, I like my name. Are you sure? Do you like Beatriz? So, so. <laughs> so, so, no sometimes. <laughs> es uh -huh. que cuando estaba en la escuela, me molestaban por Beatriz. Entonces, este, por eso no me gusta mucho Beatriz, porque me relacionaban con la de la novela, Betty la Fea. Betty la Fea. Ajá, porque ah, en el colegio usaba lentes. Nada que ver. <laughs> Y usaba nada, que ver, <laughs> nada que ver. Nada que ver. But at that time, the bullying is really yes. hard. Yes. Yes, bullying. yes. I know. It, it's kids can be hard. Pueden ser duros los, los niños, las niñas. Can be really. Rude. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, girls. Girls yes. can be rude. Pueden ser bien. Pesados, okay. So that's why maybe Beatriz, it was kind of difficult for Gisela to accept it, right? But at the end, she accepts. <laughs> Thank you, Gisela. Yeah, actually, Gisela is really good name. I like it. Thanks. Beatriz is good, but Gisela. Me dicen Gisela, 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 así. <laughs> it sounds really modern. That's why I like it. Okay, thank you. Gisela, what about Carlos? And after Carlos, we're going to listen to Elizabeth. Okay, Carlos, do you like your name? Carlos okay. Humberto. Mm -hmm. My second name is Humberto. My yep. father's name is also Humberto. He is called Beto. Okay. I don't like to be called Beto. But you like Humberto. Uh -huh. yes. yes, but not, not to be called Beto. Okay. No, no, no. I Definitely. feel very old. Yeah, you feel like if you were maybe your father or you another generation, like it's because you associate that, associate the number. So that's why, but okay, Carlos Humberto, no problem with Se you. Ya con bigote. Yeah, <laughs> with mustache. No, eso que no me han visto barbudo. El mostacho, el mostacho. Don no, creo que la, la primera clase creo que sí apareció con mostacho, oh. creo. Tenía con la barba ahí de peñador. Ok, Carlos, no problem with you with your name. So, what if we listen to Abigail and then Elia? Ok, Abigail. Okay. Hi there. I like my names. Yes, uh, Abigail, Elizabeth. No problem with that. No problem, teacher. I like. <laughs> Perfect. Ok, thank you. Uh, Elia and then Alexandra. Elia, what about your names? Hello. Um, I don't play. Um, actually, 
eh, cuando estaba quizás um, adolescente, sí, no me gustaba el nombre de Elia. Elia, why? Because Pero hoy sounds... sí, ya, ya, lo acepto. Ok, ok, Elia, maybe in the past. Yanira, no problem. Elia, because you associated with another person in your family, quizás alguna tía, mm -hmm. tu mamá, abuela. Oh, mi abuela me... me Sometimes me... we... Yes, we me, do me, that. Me puso el nombre y como quizás como no es común, quizás por eso es que no me mm -hmm. I have heard Elio. Elio, uh -huh. I have heard that. Uh -huh. De hecho, creo que es un componente de la tabla periódica. Creo que es un... Yes. Right? El helio. Sí. De un gas. Es un gas. Es un gas, de hecho. Sí. De hecho, yo conozco a, a, bueno, a dos personas que se llamaban Elio. Con H, sin H. Porque Eso el compuesto sí químico pero es si con eran, H. Pero Ajá. si eran helio, uh -huh. los dos. El primero no me acuerdo cuál era el segundo nombre, pero hay otro que se llama Helio Yasmin. Amán. Helio ¿Era? Yasmin. Yes. Amán. Ok. okay. Helio Yasmin. O Helio Bernabé también. No okay. sé qué pensaba. I know, I'm sorry, I knew a, a friend of, my, of the family an elder, ya era ancianito. Eh, he used to be named Elio Melosupio. Can you imagine? Elio Melosupio. It was really <laughs> strange. Yes. Es a real name. No, es a real name. Era los no yeah, but remember, he, he was an ancient. Era un ancianito. So imagine the, their father. Desde que tiempo, huh? Yeah, and even if you notice... Um, It was really common to name babies because of the name of the calendars, based on the names of the calendar. Se ah, basaba en los nombres del calendario. So, el almanaque. Oh, el almanaque. The, <laughs> sí, Don Julio. Alexandra creo está llorando. Alexandra está recordando a alguien. Relax. Espera, <laughs> te voy a dar tiempo para que te estabilices. No, so, sí, sí. Que, que gracias a nombre. No, I, I know. Sé que es extraño. <laughs> No, it is real. Si está, viendo la, si está viendo la novela, no se muera todavía Ricardo Rogelio. Bah, Ricardo Rogelio. ¿Ah? Ay, no. No, pero te la novela. Mi madre está viendo esta novela. Ok. So, ok. Ay, no. Alexandra, your name. Uh, you like my your name? name? Alexa. Yes. Uh, last name, Michelle. Mm. No mucho me gusta. Your second pero... name. Porque last name es apellido. Your second name, Michelle. Oh, perdón. More or less. Second name. Uh, no. You don't like it. Así es. Okay. Así es. Instead of Michelle, otro nombre. Another option for me. Instead of Michelle. Pues. Um, mi abuela, grandmother, eh, lo eligió. Por... O sea, a ella le gustó cómo se escuchaba. Le yeah. Michelle. But... Y le dijo el. Le dio la opción a mi mami y pues así me llamo. No, Alexandra. ¿Y todos? I, I, I mean, si tienes otra opción, Sus, ¿has pensado? ¿Have you ever thought about another name instead of Michelle? ¿De Michelle? ¿Has pensado en eh, otra? Sí, podría ser, ya sea Genesis, Genesis, porque primordialmente así va a ser Alexandra Denis. O ne Denis, <ríe> Alexandra. Ajá, Denis. Denis o Denis. Denis. Mm -hmm. De algo así va a ser. Pero al final, la mamita ganó, mi abuela. Ok, sí. that's ok. Remember, it's the desire of some grandmas. Ok. Así es. So, thank you, Alexandra. Very nice. And here we have some mother, Silvia. Are you there? And then we go with Douglas. No sé si está por Hello. ahí, Silvia. Sí, Silvia, sí. ¿te gustan tus okay. nombres? Do you like your names? I like my two names. I okay. Don't complain. <laughs> Good. Anna Silvia. Easy. Yes. Anna Silvia. Very nice. Yes. Okay. What about Douglas? If Douglas is there. I don't know. Hello. Hello, teacher. <coughs> Good evening. Good evening. Um, my, my first name, I like. The second name, as I ever. Yeah. My second yeah. name, not the much. No, not so much. I don't like. Okay, would you have to have you ever thought about another option? Otra opción en lugar de esa? Um, I, I, I don't know. 
Uh, I never uh, You never thought about. Never thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So never yeah. No. Ustedes pueden decir never thought about it. Nunca lo pensé. Never thought. Or I never thought about it. So okay, Douglas, thank you. And here we have some others who are like listeners. Tenemos algunos oyentes acá y Marvin continúa enfermo y no tienen nadie que lo cure. Okay, so we continue now. I'm going to check the attendance list, my friends. This is the vocabulary that we have. And this vocabulary is related specifically for emails, but also uh, we can use this uh, vocabulary taken from the keyboard. Tomado del, del teclado que... Vaya, Marvin dice que necesita su Nords nuevamente. Ok, pero la de la película, error. Ok. Arroba at, eh, igual se dice equal. Eh, tenemos el numeral, ¿verdad? Que es hashtag, dash, que es el guión, punto y coma, semicolon, ¿verdad? Coma, se dice coma, ¿verdad? Eh, el porcentaje percent, percent. Ok, guión bajo, underscore. Eh, las comillas quotation mark punto verdad full stop punto y final verdad eh, si no se, se dice period no aparece acá pero se dice period 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 punto ok bar o pipe verdad eh, tenemos colon que son los dos puntos por eso semicolon es punto y coma ok dollar sign lo que nos gusta everybody likes dollar sign a favor no en contra para decir and, ¿verdad? Aquí tenemos curly bracket, square bracket, tenemos question mark, slash, como el guitarrista de Guns N' Roses, y exclamation mark. Ok. So, uh, here we have some vocabulary that I consider that is kind of important, specifically when we refer to the keyboard, ok, or when you're giving the, some directions, or yes, some addresses for internet. I guess it can appear. So I'm going to check uh, everyone, uh, okay? Little by little, and you tell me, hi, hello, good evening, and then please say one of these words. I consider that they are really easy. Some of them are new for you, but kind of easy. Avele de Nilsson, I guess is not here. I hope he can connect. Mm, Abigail Elizabeth, Abby, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Exclamation mark. Okay, good one. Uh, Alexandra. Question, teacher. Um, dollar sign. Okay. <laughs> dollar sign. Yes, that's it. Everybody loves dollar signs. Favor. A favor. Cuando recibimos. Okay, we will receive dollars, dollars. Okay. Um, Silvia. Question mark. Question, thank you. Okay, Brenda. I don't know if Brenda is here. Okay, Carlos. Okay, uh, sería quotation mark. Ah, uh, quotation, yes, quotation, quotation. mark. Okay. Eh, cuando también decimos los quotation, son eh, frases tomadas eh, de, de algunos libros, taken, eh, words taken from movies, eh, books or speeches cuando son de algunos discursos ok, por ejemplo Martin Luther King said, said I have a dream entonces eso se puede tener entre in quotation marks, entonces él dijo tengo un sueño y así comienza su, su discurso I have a dream so um, let's see Douglas hi there ok um, let's listen to Elia Present. Hi. Mm -hmm. Equal. Equal. Okay, thank you. Florcita, hello again. Hello, teacher. Uh, semicolon. Semicolon, nice. Okay, Frank. <coughs> Present, teacher. Mm, okay. Present. Okay, person. Thank you, Gisela. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, question mark. Mm -hmm. Good question mark. 
Por si se preguntaban cómo se decía signo de pregunta, ¿verdad? Question mark. ¿Verdad? O signo de interrogación. Mauricio y sí. Ok, no. Juancito. Hi there. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. What's your word? It's slash. Slash. Ok, nice. Good one. Julissa, I guess it's not here, right? So we go with Carly. Hi, teacher. Mm -hmm. Carly. Um, full stop. Full stop, thank you. Laura, I guess it's not home ready. Todavía no está en casa. Marvin is sick. Janet is not here. Ah, Janet has a fan. Mm -hmm. Okay, Saul. Hello. Hello, good evening. Uh, mm -hmm. Curly bracket. Okay, curly bracket. Perfect. Si no me equivoco, curly se llama uno de los tres chiflados, ¿verdad? Pero era el que no tenía cabello. Sí, Corrijan. <laughs> Ajá, curioso, irónico. Okay, uh, Liz, I guess it's moving. Creo que va de camino. And here we have Berito. No se ha conectado. Okay. So, uh, let's move to uh, this part. Let me check what do we have here. Ayer teníamos una actividad. I don't know if you could finish it. Si la pudieron terminar. I guess you couldn't. It is this. Could you? ¿Verdad? No sé si la pudieron terminar. Sinonymous. Yeah. Sin mm -hmm. Sinonymous. No pudieron terminar, la verdad. Yes. Yes. Ok. I finish. Ok. What about the others? Could you? Me too. Me too. Ok. What about if we start? Um, do you have... Ok. Can be volunteers. Ok. Everybody can... Uh, participate. Remember that you can say some synonyms that you consider easy. Okay? So, let me check. So, mm -hmm. uh, Juancito, could you start? And then Gisela, one by one. And, yes. Okay, and everybody's going to be like participating. Uh, cualquiera, teacher. Yeah, whatever. Uh, from 1 oh, to 15, okay. you, uh, you select. Uh, 40. Okay, easy. number 14. We have easy. What's uh, the synonym? Simply. Okay, simply, right? Uh, simple. Simple. Okay. Thank you. Okay, who okay. else, Gisela? Thank you. Oh. Okay, and, and, just, just give me a second. Okay, what, I'm sorry? Nice and... N number two, nice. Sí, yes, nice. What, what's the synonym? Uh, lesson? Pleasant. Okay, what about here? Okay. Thank you. Any other? Uh, Saul, you have other. Um, adjective so, uh, optimistic. Seven. Hmm? Optimistic. Um, sí. Hopeful. Yes, good. Hopeful. Hopeful. Perfect. Yes. Okay, we're going all right. Do we have some others? And strange. Como Doctor Strange. Uh huh. Peculiar. Five. Ah, uh, and the other is. Peculiar. Yeah, peculiar. Oh, no. Porque no lo contra. <laughs> no. Mm, mm. Could it be? Are you sure? Mm, no. Mm -hmm. Are Dame, you ya, sure? Ya. 
or you can select any other if you want, not necessarily French. Mm -hmm. Okay, yo creo que por ahí va la cosa, but if you want to say some other impolite, intelligent, do, handsome. No sería mejor rude. Rude, ¿para cuál? Para strange. Uh -huh. Es que strange es extraño, raro. Extraño, uh -huh. Ruth es... Podría ser good looking. Mm, good looking no. es bien parecido. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's for handsome. Uh -huh. It's for handsome. Aquí lo voy a poner. Good looking. And here we have... Yes. 50 teacher. I'm sorry. 15. Uh, 15. Cheap. Cheap. Mm -hmm. And rude. Cheap es barato. Rude? Um, are you sure could it be rude? I don't think so. Inexpensive? Barato, yes, inexpensive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number eight. Number eight, what do we got? Funny. 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 Mm -hmm. Happy. Okay, and let me see. Okay. Any other? Hey, Brenda, you have one? Number six. Yes, a very, very big. big. Mm -hmm. Hook. Oh, huge. Huge. Okay, huge. Huge. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. huge. Yes, very big. That's huge. Thank you, uh, Gisela. Uh, other? Intelligent or clever? Intelligent, clever, yes. Mm -hmm. Clever, intelligent, smart. There are like synonyms. Okay, any other person? Uh, wonderful. Wonderful, three. Mm -hmm. Our values. Mm -hmm. um, marvelous. Marvelous. Yes. Okay, we're doing all right. Other, a floor? No, no problem. Take your time. Okay. Maybe we have some other Frank, Elia, uh, Elizabeth, Silvia. If you have some other, you can say it. Okay, Marvin says quiet, silent, silent. Yes, quiet, and here has silent, como silent hill. Okay. We're not Saul. Teacher. Yes, Frank. Eh, yo que estaba usando el sinónimo de, de quiet, y me parecía dispension. No sé si... Ye yeah, but we don't have this option. That other option we don't have it here. No tenemos esa opción oh. acá. Yeah, so uh -huh. that's why we are working with these options because there are a lot of synonyms hay varios sinónimos mm -hmm. so uh, we are uh, using this que, uh, no encontraba ninguna similitud uh, yeah ahí. some other mm -hmm. that's why yes come on one two three four Here. five hey. yep Flor. Eh, pregunto eh... Podría ser nice con boring. Nice es genial, es bonito, boring es aburrido. Sería peculiar. Mm, peculiar, no porque peculiar con bonito o con algo agradable, porque nice es agradable. Mm -hmm. Bonito. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, Saúl. Any idea? 
Eh, por descarte sería amusing. 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 Ok. Amusing es entretenido. Yeah, could it be? Entonces, vamos a ver, aunque aquí nos dice. No sería pleasant. 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 No, pero ya no tenemos pleasant aquí. Tenemos terrible. Ok, vamos a llenar los que tenemos. Vaya. Eh, tenemos acá. Do. Vaya. Significa uh, eh, tedioso. So we're going to. Number 10. Boring. Uh, boring. Yeah, boring. That's it. It's boring. Okay. Impolite. Algo que no es amable. Es rude, teacher. Oh, rude. el tanto de rude que querían usar. Yes. Rude. Good. Okay. We have. Um, no queda peculiar. Terrible. Amusing. Okay, so uh, tenemos peculiar, aquí va con strange. A strange, peculiar. Yeah, okay. So it means that we have just two peculiar. Amusing, it's the most terrible, awful as fail. Okay, so terrible and nice. Terrible. Sí, ya me, Saúl creo que me ha dicho amusing aquí, ¿verdad? Listen. Yes. Uh, music. Okay, uh, something that I told you one of the previous classes is that it is really, really important to have synonyms and antonyms for a lot of words. It means that your vocabulary is, is extended and you have a lot of words to give opinions, to give information, to give instructions, to explain something. Así que eh, tengan en cuenta eso sinónimos y los antónimos o los que son opuestos son súper importantes, ¿ok? We continue and we go now. Let me check this. Just give me a second. Ok, we are checking this. Ok, we finish uh, this. Right, we did it really good. We continue, okay. We already work on this. And here we have this. Read a survey. Survey, se escribe survey, pero se pronuncia survey, es una encuesta. Read a survey about a customer experience with a product, okay. Let's listen to is. Eh, tenemos esas. A ver si me ayudan a leerlas. We can start with Francisco with number one, please. How satisfied? Micrófono. Oh, sorry. Estás hablando con tu conciencia, Francisco. Yes. Okay. Practicando. <laughs> Así es. Oh, Are you with the this product. Yes, what are the options? Um, ¿Cuál es la opción? Eh, tenemos dissatisfied, ¿verdad? Eh, okay, because satisfied is satisfied, dissatisfied is insatisfied. Okay, thank you. Very nice. So how satisfied are you with this product? Imagínense que tan mal le sale este producto. Okay, let's go with Juan. Number two, please, rate. Yes. Great your opinion about the product quality. Mm -hmm. What's uh, the answer? Very low case. quality. Very low quality, imagine, okay. In the first one, we have very satisfied, satisfied, dissatisfied, very dissatisfied. Number two, here we have high quality. Average is promedio, average, average. Se dan cuenta, verdad? Que aquí tenemos todo lo que aparece con A, A, G, E. Se dice como, ¿verdad? S, H, ¿verdad? Average. Pero donde decimos H, sí. ¿verdad? Entonces, ok. Low quality and very low quality. Something that you bought and it doesn't work. No funciona. 
Okay, for number three, what about if we have Elia? The value. The value of this product is uh, pure. Okay, poor. Mm -hmm. poor. Poor. Yes. Excellent. Good. Poor es pobre. Very poor es bastante poor. Muy limitado. Thank you. And here we have the last one. Silvia, can you help me reading number four, please? Will you continue using the product? The answer is? Yes. No. No, esa respuesta es no. Ah, sí, sí. Okay, thank you, Silvia. Yes, so we can imagine that this customer is not happy. Okay, he's not happy with this product. So let's continue. Um, uh, Silvia, okay, here we have, now here we have information again, and here we have three questions. Number one, how was the customer experience? Number two, is the product a good one or a bad one? Number three, think about possible problems the customer had with the product. Okay, let's go with number one. And I'm going to ask to Carlos. How was the customer experience? Okay, so to, to opinion? Um, very good. Eh, okay, será buena la experiencia de este cliente? No, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's not right, Carlos. It's, it's not bad. It's, it's not good. It's not good. Thank you. Okay. Alexandra, what about number two? Is the product a good one or a bad one? Bad one. Yes, definitely. It's a bad one. Yes, thank you. Okay. And here we go. Think about possible pros the customer had with the product. Okay, Juancito. In your case, what do you consider one option? for uh, the possible product? Uh, Do you consider one of No, it's functional. Yeah, not functional. Yes. It not didn't functional. Work. No funcionó? Not functional. Yes. Unfortunately, we don't have the name of the product. We still want to tener el nombre del producto, right? So we can have yes. an idea. But in this case, it is just a general survey. Okay, thank you. And we have this. May versus might. May, aparte de significar mayo, también significa eh, podría. Es un puedo más formal. Okay, so in this case, uh, let me check this. Okay. Can you help me reading Saul number one, please? With may, and then we go with might. May, and then might. Please, number one. Okay. I might ask, I might ask for a refund. Refund. Mm -hmm. Refund. She might want to uh, refund on those unit. Unit. Thank you. Refund, como que el refund que se echa la gente aquí. <laughs> okay, refund in this case is el reembolso. I may ask for a refund. She might want a refund on those units. Okay, yo, yo puedo pedir eso. Might is yo podría, una posibilidad eh, un poco más escasa. What about eh, Frank, number two? And then we're going to listen to Alexandra. You may, Frank. You may go at different store. Mm -hmm. They might complain about the service. Thank you, Alexandra. Number three, may and might. Mm, they may not provide a good service. Provide we a good service. May provide might. We, we might. might ask to tell with the supervisor. Yeah. Thank you. We might ask to talk with the supervisor. Thank you. And here we have finally, uh, let's listen to Douglas. Could you please read the last two sentences? Yes. Mm -hmm. It might not reach your expect expectation. Expectations, yeah. Uh, he might, might 
not buy her again. Here again. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Estas eh, son modales, así se le llama auxiliares modales. Tenemos diferentes auxiliares modales. Los otros auxiliares, ¿verdad? Tenemos can, ¿verdad? Tenemos could, tenemos may. Todos esos funcionan así. Si los queremos hacer negativo, utilizamos cannot o can't, ¿verdad? Eh, igual tenemos could, could not, may, may not, might, might not. Así. La, todos estos, estos sí tienen una contracción que es can't, couldn't. Pero may no se dice, es may not. Y este might not. Así es. ¿Ok? So, in this case, here we have create sentences using the word provider. And may or might. Puede ser what, cualquiera de estos. What is the meaning might? Might es un podría. May es puedo, poder, digamos. Might es un podría. Es una opción más lejana, digamos. Así. Digamos con otras palabras. Ok. Thank so, you. you're welcome. We're going to use sentences. Um, y podemos utilizar may or might. Solo eso lo vamos a agregar de acuerdo. According to the words in parentheses. De acuerdo a las palabras en paréntesis que tenemos acá. Eso es un tanto fácil. Voy a darle zoom. I'm going to make a close up here. Okay. So, yep. Do we have volunteers for this? The only thing that you have to do is to okay. add may or might. Okay. Who? Douglas. Douglas or. No. Yo. Yo es. Flor. Ah, Flor. Florcita. Yes, here. Peace. Flor, from one to six, which one do you consider? Number one. Number one. He, he may not be satisfied. Satisfied. Thank you. He might not be satisfied. Easy, right? Fancy. Thank satisfied. you. Mm -hmm. Good. What about if we listen now to Carly? What number, Carly? Select one. Mm. Amanda might no use. O may. May no use. May, may no not use. use. No dice el qué, ¿verdad? May no use it, ¿verdad? Ajá. Como sí, que algo incompleta. Ajá, le falta acá, pero así es la vida, mm -hmm. igual que el amor. Ok, thank you, Carly. Mm -hmm. What about Juancito? Number four. Number four, and then Saul. Yeah. You may recommend it. You may recommend it. Yeah, perfect. Uh, Saul, and then we go with Frank. And the second, uh, the warranty might be longer. Might be longer. Good one. Okay, we go now with um. I can I read it? Frank in then yes. Carlos. Uh, number three in the service uh, might not. Mm -hmm. be, be excellent. excellent thank you and what about number five carlos could you please Oy, perdón. Oy, sí. no eh, number five sería the waiter maybe in a hurry uh -huh. maybe y aquí viene un punto puede ser maybe o puede ser might be ahora la palabra Maybe, que significa quizás, significa puede ser. ¿Se dan cuenta? Pueden ser maybe o puede ser maybe, oh, pero nosotros utilizamos el maybe. Separado. Uh -huh. Lo utilizamos como quizás. El maybe es quizás. Pero si lo utilizamos hacia aparte, maybe es como puede ser, pero significa igual. Pero puede ser que sí. Maybe yes. Maybe. Maybe. Ok. So, um, Let's continue with this. Can you notice that this is a really simple uh, structure? Una estructura muy simple. Y este, pueden utilizarse ambas. Pero como le digo, might eh, sería como para menos posible de que pase. Pero igual. Son eh, frases un tanto 
pues, eh, <coughs> formales. Can, may y might. Can, tenemos, means capable of doing related to ability, relacionado a las habilidades. Por ejemplo, eh, Juancito can dance samba. Eh, for example, floor. Oh, yeah, really. Eh, that, <risa> es real, dicen, that's real. Yes. Pues sí, me imagino, Juancito debería hacer un viaje a Brasil, hombre. ¿Verdad? La Zambiña. Zambiña, ahí, ¿eh? con las batucadas. Ok. <laughs> ok. And, for example, Francisco can cook, digamos, pasta. Ok. And in the case... Is really? Ajá, cabal, Frank. De todo puede hacer, dice. Ok, and so on. No, no, no. Ok, no, kidding, this, está bromeando, es kidding, kidding. Ok, ability. Can is for an ability. Ok, now may is used to ask permission or to say there is a fair possibility. Fíjense bien, entonces may, como les decía, ¿ves? se puede utilizar como un puedo, puedo de algo, no de habilidad, sino de permiso o una poca posibilidad. Fair possibility. Ok. Might is used uh, to say there is a possibility, but it is not very likely. Es lo que les decía, que es una posibilidad que está lejana, como que no mucho. En síntesis, can, poder de habilidad. May, para permiso, o okay, que hay cierta habilidad, eh, cierta posibilidad. Y might, que es una posibilidad remota. Como que no va a pasar, como que no es muy probable. Ok. That could be if you want to have, to have screenshots, you can tener una captura, pues it's ok. No problem, you can have it. Um, so you can have a better idea how, how you can use can, may, or might. Ok. So for this, we're going to use, uh, we're going to apply it for this exercise. Sigan su corazón. Follow your heart. Ok. Podemos utilizar cualquiera, ¿verdad? Can, may, or might. Can, may, or might. The same that we, that I presented here. Can, may, or might. For this. Ok. So, take a look at, at these sentences and you tell me which one would you like to Complete. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have twelve sentences. Flor, do you want to be the first? Uh, number C. Can can I help you? Okay. Just give me a second. Yes. Okay. También se puede usar ahí. May may help you. May I help you or can I help may. you? Sí, okay. sí. ¿Se recuerdan cómo hemos estado uh, viendo lo de las introducciones de los agentes? Mm -hmm. eh, hello, how can I help you? How may I help, may I help you? Yeah. Frank, what about you? Uh, may I close the door? Okay, may I close the door? Okay, you can say may, you can say can, yeah, may. Okay. Okay, who else? Tenemos a alguien más por acá. May I close the door? Es como que ajá, más formal. Cuando vas a pedir como que si está haciendo mucho frío. Y decir, may I close the door? Porque ya estoy ahí con, con frío. Ok, what about Saul? Uh, what about Douglas? Do you have one? Um, the queen... The queen may... May? Is it tomorrow? Ok. Could it be? Maybe it's tomorrow. Yeah. That's it. Thank you. Using might. Uh, Douglas, and then we go with Alexander. Um, I can drive. Easy. I can. Why is can? Because drive is an ability. Nice. Thank you. Alexandra, and then we go with Elia. Um, Remember... One of my mother 
amazing telephone me today. Uh, my mother, I'm sorry, no, I couldn't. I couldn't listen. Could you repeat, please? Uh, my mother. My mother means May. Telephone. May. Uh, May telephone me today. Thank you. Nice. Elia, and then we go with Carly. I can swim. Swim. Okay. Perfect. Habilidad. Okay, Carly, and then we go with Isela. Okay. May I eat the last apple? Mm, con penita. Uh -huh. Con pena, le dice. Sí, sí. Con Como cara sea. de, de víctima. De yo no fue. Okay, thank you. Gisela, and after Gisela, we go with um, Juancito. Uh, I can run faster than my brother. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Porque es una habilidad. Juan, and then Flor. Yes. I can eat a stick tonight. Okay. Ya te lo aprobó el doctor. No problem. I can eat stick tonight. Uh, yes. Flor. Nice. And, yeah. and then we go I, with Sylvia. I might win the lottery this weekend. I might. Mm -hmm. I might. might. Yes. Yes, might. I might win the lottery this weekend. Qué genial sería. And Silvia, what about uh, live to be more than 100 years? Podría ser men, men. Might, might. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's, exactly. that's correct. Porque no es muy posible. ¿Te recuerdan lo, lo que les dije, verdad? De las edades, verdad? Okay, so well. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, we continue with this and let's go with this. Are you named after anyone in your family, friend or famous person? Ha sido nombrado, eh, dice, similar a alguien en tu familia o por alguien en tu familia, amigo, algún famoso, se llaman, I don't know, I don't know Led Zeppelin o algo así, or yes. Whatever. Okay, Juan. Yes, Juancito, tell us. Cristobal Columbus. Yes, teacher. Okay, that's the reason. Is if my first name is for one of my uncle. Okay. Or my father. Okay. So I am the middle name is for my maternal grandfather. Okay, perfect. So you have names in both sides of your family, right? Yes. Perfect. It is, it is really good, good combination. Thank you, Juan. Yes. Okay. So okay. Perfect. Nice. Yes. And, and that is something that happens in families that they want to use one of the names in the next generations. In comparison to other families, they want to use new names, but it's okay. It depends on everybody. Okay, what about if we ask to Carlos? In your case, Carlos, you mentioned that you were named because of your father, right, Humberto? Yes. Okay, and what about Carlos? Uh, uh, my mother, uh, uh -huh. she likes this name. But she's not Carla, right? No. 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 Triste. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, nice. And well, we go with Carly. Okay, Carly, now you that you appear, ya que apareciste. Sí, hablando. Agarro ahí de los colochos, vení, vos que estás ahí hablando. Okay. Ahí era de fiesta. My name has uh, a word history because my grandmother wanted to name his son. Mm -hmm. But uh, her husband 
decided the other name. Mm. Y ella no supo. O sea, ella lo nombró por otro lado. Entonces, eh, she thought in Daniel. Daniel, ok. So it changed Exacto. to Daniel. Mm -hmm. Sí, porque la, la siguiente que nació fui yo, la primera nieta. Entonces mm -hmm. a mí me tocó Daniela. Ok. Pero ya, ya conté la, la, la historia enamorada de mi mamá, entonces me llamo Carla. Ok, your mother, <risa> she was in love. Estaba enamorada de la mujer. I guess. Que viva Pero el no amor. <risa> mm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <risa> Bueno, I can change it. Nada, es para siempre, como dice los seres del silencio. Thank you, Carly. Ya me hiciste pensar en muchas cosas. Ok, what about <laughs> Flor? Ok, Flor. What about your case? Are you named after anyone in your family? Hey, because my mom, I like is no one also is called that in the my family nothing so nobody flor nobody maria no hay flores ni maria fíjense bien ni flores ni maria pero maria. muy bonito su nombre ay gracias a mí me gusta el suyo muy bonito okay <laughs> very nice okay good it is good to be the first one in the family to have that name right And also, it is nice to have a similar name or the same name as one of the relatives. That is part of the a tradition. Yes. Thank you, Flor. Okay, what about if we listen in this case to... Bien, por aquí escribe Marvin, que es su segundo nombre. Marvin se llama Edenilson. Es un novio que tuvo su abuela cuando era joven. Okay. Maybe that person was very special for your grandma. Muy especial. Algún día lo sabremos. Frank. Where are you? Uh, okay. Uh, in my case, this world with a little by the night of, of a saint, according to the calendar. Oh. And with the second, it was only combination. And James changed it because these days I was born the same was Vivian. Okay. Help una víctima. Okay, vos fuiste de lo que yo estaba diciendo de las víctimas sí. from the calendar name. Del calendario. Como le vieron cara de santo. ¿Qué pasa eso? Le vieron cara de dijo, eh, este sí, te va a ser sí. tranquilo, venga para acá San Francisco. Eh, el... Menos mal que le pusieron Francisco. Sí, sí, sí un nombre sí. tolerable, ¿verdad? Pero conozco claro, uno es que... que Dionisio y con sí, unos sí. nombres. Pasa. Y ahora los que se llaman Anselmo, Eusebio, Eustacio. Agradecer, Francisco. Agradecer. Marcelino. No, no, no. Lo que, lo que sucede es que el, con fecha 3 está San Francisco Javier. Entonces, como que... En, me cambiaron a Javier y me pusieron el Ernesto. Francisco Javier. Ok. Sí, y hubiera combinado sí. bien. Pero igual. Eh, estoy feliz con, con, con You're el nombre. happy with your name, Francisco. Yeah. Entonces, y como has llevado una vida de, de santidad, la ¿verdad? Vida, correcto, correcto. Eh, ok. La, la, la aureola me falta. Ajá, la aureola. <ríe> Ok, Francisco, te creemos. We believe you. We trust you. Trust you. Ok, nice. Let's see. Bien, este, este Marvin, porque está enfermo, dice. Que trabajaba en un barco de... ¿En un barco? Trabajaba en un barco de un barco. Bueno. Y se conocieron en Gangajutla. Es una historia muy bonita, pero triste, casi como la del muelle de San Blas. Oh, I'm sorry for your grandma. Hay muchas historias. There are a lot of stories with our grandpas and grandmas. Los abuelos y las abuelas. Si ustedes tienen abuelos y abuelas, les recomiendo que hablen con ellos y les pregunten sobre sus eh, historias en general. Tienen, se puede aprender mucho. Oh, ok. What about, uh, thank you Marvin for sharing. Saúl, in your case, are you named after anyone in your family? 
And I don't know the reason for my name, uh, but I may be the cause is the name of the of my father. Is ah, the, so th that's more, it. Mm -hmm, yes, the second name is for is, my father. It's okay. The first one is because of your father, right? But the okay, second the, name is a combination. Okay, mm, or no? no it's I, because I, I don't know. Is uh, the reason? No, but uh -huh, but there's my second number is selected by my mother. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, maybe I don't. Uh, I don't. Your father Saul and. Maybe your father said My mother's your mother. Sorry, okay, sorry. select another name so we can have. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Thank you. Yes, and that that is now is more common than before, because now there are some parents that they say father uh, selects one name and mother selects another name, but in some other families I have noticed that the grandmothers or grandfathers they have incidents. On selecting the name, a veces tienes eh, incidencia cuando seleccionan los nombres y, y bueno, a veces alguno del papá o la mamá no le deja. Pero bueno, we continue in this case. Let me check something here. Okay, we're going to have some conversations. Okay, we're going to practice in groups. Nos quedan 50 minutos de clases. Como les digo, están pasando un poquito rápido las clases okay and in this case let me check uh the car gets declined cuando nos rechazan la tarjeta okay you want to make the tarjetazo and the post says no you don't have pounds no tiene fondos no hay billetes so let me see here we have the, this conversation your total comes to uh, 36 uh, 0.78 dollars put put it on my visa there's a problem with your car what's wrong with it i believe it was declined declined you're kidding me do you have any do you have another car i could try i only have one car do you have a do you have cash perhaps perhaps I don't have any cash on me. You're not going to be able to take these items today. I'll be back tomorrow. No, había pista. No, era, no andaba 36, 78. So, in this case, when we use what's wrong, eso también se utiliza cuando hay algún problema. Imagine the company, o cuando ven a alguien, incluso forcejeando, hey, what's wrong? What's the matter? What's the problem? ¿Cuál es el problema? Okay. Pueden decir, you're kidding, or you're kidding me. Estás bromeando, me estás tomando el pelo. That, that's the, the, the meaning. Okay, you're kidding. Pueden decir, you're kidding, or you're kidding me. Cuando alguien hace una broma, a veces se dice, ah, just kidding. Yeah, solo bromeaba, okay. But, well, and here we have, perhaps, no perhaps. Perhaps, haps, significa quizás, es como un maybe. Perhaps. Okay. So that's it. Let's check number two. We go with conversation number two. Siempre. Eh, decline. Or tarjeta de, eh, declinada. The total of all these items. Pueden decir items or items. Okay. Items. Comes to $36.78. Take my visa. There is something wrong with your car. What's going on? O sea, ¿qué pasa? What's going on? Your car was declined. That can't be right. Would you like me to try another car? I don't have another one. What about cash? I don't bring cash with me today. I'm sorry, but you can take these items until you can buy them. I'll come back for them tomorrow. Similar, la conversación, el significado es similar, but if you notice, uh, there are different words, different questions or phrases to refer the same meaning, para referirse al mismo significado. Es lo que les digo, hay diferentes maneras de decir algo. Eso es muy positivo en inglés, podemos utilizar las maneras más fáciles para referirnos a algo que aparentemente es tanto difícil. 
you owe, cuando decimos owe, es como tú debes, ¿verdad? You owe 36.78 dollars. Here's my visa card. I'm sorry, but your card is not working. What's the problem? Con M al final, what's the problem? The machine says, no says, says, says. The machine says your car was declined. It was. Do you have another car? That's my only one. Maybe you can just pay in cash. No cash today. I guess you won't be able to purchase these items today. I'll come tomorrow with cash. Muy bien. Aquí está maybe, la palabra que yo le decía, maybe. Fíjense aquí cómo dice que no tiene dinero. Aquí dice no cash today. En la anterior dice, I don't bring cash with me today. And in number one, I don't have any cash on me. Three forms to say the same thing. Okay, so that's the point on this. Esta es la número tres. Okay, so we're going to have some practice. Let me check if Juancito could. Okay, no problem. Thank you, Juancito. Now we have okay. these conversations. Very nice. Thank you for helping me. And recuerden, oh, I, you owe, you owe 36 dollars and pueden decir, pueden decir 36 dollars and 78 cents cents or 36.78 dollars okay let's practice a little bit I'm going to okay Douglas we're going to voy a ver acá con quien los organizo. Ok. Let me check. Dele una revisada en este momento a a las conversaciones. Luis. Okay. Okay. En lo que están andando oyentes, lo voy a poner en un solo grupo. ¿Ok? Para los que puedan participar. Yo ya estoy acá, pero no le pude quitar eso de oyente. Ok, Julissa, thank you. Entonces ya te voy a, ya voy a ver quién te agrego. Thank you for saying. See you in a moment, my dear friends. Necesito que acepten la solicitud. Y vamos a comenzar.
Okay. Let's see who is already here. Going back to the class. Um, let's say who wants to be the first one. ¿Quién vamos con la primera? Vamos a ver acá. Maybe Francisco. Okay, Francisco, who was your classmate? Yes, teacher. Juan, Juan. Francisco and Juan, okay, please. Yeah. Number Sorry, one. Eh, sí, Carlos. Sí, estábamos viendo ahí con la compañera que estábamos practicando que la primera y la segunda, la misma, mandaron el grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Será? Sí, ahí estuvimos comparando. Sí, oh. es cierto. Sí, teacher, solo dos se pudieron practicar. Bueno. Ustedes sigan su corazón, hombre. Todo mundo... <risa> bueno. Ok, sigan su corazón. Ok. Ya vamos. Bueno, ni modo, pero el próximo vamos a estar ahí. Es que Juancito está enamorado. Entiéndanlo. Hoy es aniversario. Y en vez de estar... Es que ya es viernes. Es que es viernes. Creo es que viernes. Que es viernes. Y el cuerpo lo sabe. Ya está listo ahí. Para salir. Yes. Beginning. Okay. Number one. Your total count to thirty-six point seven eight. Put it on my visa. There is problem with your car. What wrong with it? I believe it was declined. You're kidding me. Do you have another car I could bring? I only have one car. Do you have cash per hash? I don't have any cash on me. You're not going to be over to take this eating today? I'll be back tomorrow. Thank you, very nice, yes. Yes, decline. Mm -hmm. Yes, items. Items today. Okay, cuando no tenemos piso, cuando nos dicen no pasó la tarjeta al post. Okay. okay. Eh, teacher, solo tengo una pequeña duda. Yes. Con la frase going to be able o able. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Able. Okay. okay, you're not going to be able, es capaz, no vas a ser capaz de llevarte estos ítems, ¿verdad? Entonces, you're not going to be able, able. Mm -hmm. Perfect, eh, let's go with number two. Okay, vamos a ver, Giselita quiere, le veo que ahora de que... Acá estoy. Yes. Okay, con Carly. Chiqui. Con Carly. Ah, ese dueto es otro propio. <laughs> okay. Uh, the total for all these items comes to 36.79. Take my visa. Did you something wrong with your car? What's going on? Your car was declined. That can't be right. What would you like me to try another car? I don't have another one. What about cash? I didn't bring cash with me today. I'm sorry, but you can take the item until you can buy 10. I'll come back for them tomorrow. Thank you, very nice. Lo siento, I mañana vuelvo. Ah, mañana pasa. <risa> una buena historia, Carly. Ah, sí, sí, yo le conté una anécdota a ella. Cuente, pues cuente. Ya estamos aquí. Es que mira, como me, me traen en moto, va. Entonces yo me fui a trabajar en bus, pero no me llevé mi casco. Entonces en, cuando salí, él ya estaba esperándome ahí y no tenía, va. Y me fui a Speed Moto Shop, que estaba ahí cerca. Y ya uh -huh. estaba cerrado, tras que me tocó rogar que me dejaran pasar para elegir rápido y todo, y no hallaba la tarjeta. Y todos se me quedaban viendo y ya querían ir, sino qué pena. Y, y de ahí que la hallo, no me pasaba la tarjeta y él me decía, mire, no le pasa. 
probemos en otro pozo. Y yo, basta, bueno, espero. Y probaba en otro, y probaba en otro, y nunca pasaba la desgraciada. Y yo sabía que tenía pisto. Ah, oígala, oígala. Ay, 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 ay. Pues no, o sea, tampoco de sobra, pero yo sabía que me sobraban que sean mis cinco pesos o algo así, de, agua, de lo que iba a gastar, y, y creo que pasaba, y yo como me iba sin casco, pues me iba a tocar en bus, y yo ya le dije a Resina, bueno, ni modo, me toca en bus, ahí te ves, y no, pero me, me cambiaron la visera por una más clarita, y me bajaron como dos pesitos, y ahí sí me pasó, pero cuando yo fui a revisar en mi banca en línea, sí tenía pisto, no sé qué pasó. Solo era la sal apoderándose de mí. Era la sal intentando que no gastes. <ríe> pues sí. Pero no, la señal no intentó. Okay. Era una clara señal. Pero, sí, era una... No, no entendió. Ahí está. Sí, ya, era muy tarde. Cosas que pasan. Con... Sí, tenés que limpiar, ve. No. Pues Así como le decía, be back tomorrow. Ustedes han traído esos gatos. Sí, sí, gato. gatos han de sí, ser. Pégale el gato. Pégale el gato, sí. Ok. Aquí, ¿cómo Denuncia dice? la peta, por favor. Ya hay multa. No, mentira, mentira. I'll be back tomorrow. Ok, number three. A ver quién nos acompaña. Tal vez nos puede apoyar. Julisa. Could you? Yes, teacher. Ok, y, please. Eh, ay, no me acuerdo con quién estaba, teacher. Lord y el, Elizabeth. Ok, elige a una. Um, Lord. Mm -hmm. Flor, are you there? I'm ready. Ok, please. You, you, You want 36.78 dollars. Where's my visa card? I'm sorry, but your card is working. What's the problem? The machine said your card was declined. It was? Do you have another car? That's my only one. Maybe you can use pay in cash. No cash today. I guess you won't be able to purchase the item today. You'll come tomorrow with cash. Okay, thank you. Very nice. And if you notice, <clears throat> Uh, it is real detailed mm -hmm. when it says uh, your car is declined. Eso sí no cambia. Está declinada, no pasa. Okay. So, well, thank you. Let's listen to some others to this. Are you named after anyone in your family, friends, or famous person? For this, we're going to listen to Abigail, Elizabeth, and then Alexandra. Okay. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. um, yes, my middle name is uh, igual como es. Similar. ¿Cómo? Similar or equals. Or oh, uh, the same. Similar. Okay. <laughs> okay, similar. Similar, the name of my mother. Okay, oh, your mother. Mm -hmm. Okay. Her middle name is Elizabeth too. Okay, that's why. Okay, nice. So Abigail is the, the combination, right? Perfect. Thank you, Abby. Nice and similar. Here is that the same, but that, okay. And um, Alexandra, you go and then Sylvia. Okay, Alexandra, are you named after anyone in your family? Okay, you are the first. You are the first, Alexandra Michel. Eres la primera, Alexandra Michel, entonces. Nice. Perfect. What about now, Silvia? 
And after Silvia, we go with Elia. Okay. Uh, only I have that my name. Okay. Yes, only you have that name. Okay, thank you. Yes. Very nice. What about Elia? <clears throat> A number um, similar um, my mother. Ah, your mother, uh, Elia or Janira? Janira. Janira, okay, your mother. Okay, thank you. Uh, can you notice it's like traditions that mothers uh, give, gives uh, that the name for fathers. What about Gisela and then Julissa? Uh, my first name is for my geologic mother mm -hmm. and my second name is for my tia is out yes la tenía, la tenía en la otra uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay um, mm -hmm. it's because you're on yes okay thank you well in this case y lo pongo así se pronuncia así. Ont. Y esta es ant. Para aunt. decir tía se dice ont. Ont. Ok. My ont. Pero si quieren decir hormiga se dice ant. Como ant man. ¿Verdad? Como el nombre de hormiga. Ant man. Pero uh -huh. ont es tía. Entonces no hay. Aunque uno puede equivocarse al, al leerlo. Pero al pronunciarlo ont. Nada que ant. Ok. Thank you, Gisela. What about Julissa? Okay. Uh, my name is for my cousin. She ah, okay. passed away when she was seven years old. And oh. it was two months before I was born. So my family decided to name me after her. Okay, very nice, but seven months of difference, right? Okay, it is short, short period of time. Thank you. Okay, good. Now um, we're going to listening. We're going to the listening part. Please, I need to pay attention. I'm going to prepare this audio that I have it here. Let me check it. Okay, let's see what do we have. Just give me a second, so let me un segundo acá. Okay, let's listen.
I think this photo was taken a long time ago, possibly in the 1960s or 1970s. I know it was taken so long ago because of the clothes the people are wearing and also because the office looks so old-fashioned. Everything in the office is so simple. There's no modern technology, no computers or fax machines or photocopiers or anything. Such offices don't really exist now, do they? The office where I work is very different. It's more like a home and less like a workplace. Actually, I think I can see one phone in this office. It's black and looks like the old phones without bottoms. It will be in a museum today. There are photos of ships on the wall. Perhaps this is a company that owns big ships and the floor is so shiny. If you walk on that floor with new shoes, you can fall over. It would be like walking on ice. I don't like this office. It's such a boring place. Let's listen one more time. I think this photo was taken a long time ago, possibly in the 1960s or 1970s. I know it was taken so long ago because of the clothes the people are wearing and also because the office looks so old-fashioned. Everything in the office is so simple. There's no modern technology, no computers or fax machines or photocopiers or anything. Such offices don't really exist now, do they? The office where I work is very different. It's more like a home and less like a workplace. Actually, I think I can see one phone in this office. It's black and looks like the old phones without bottoms. It will be in a museum today. There are photos of ships on the wall. Perhaps this is a company that owns big ships and the floor is so shiny. If you walk on that floor with new shoes, you can fall over. It would be like walking on ice. I don't like this office. It's such a boring place. I think this photo was taken a long time ago. Okay. Uh, let's listen to some of you. And uh, what about um, some words, phrases, or ideas that you identified? Teacher, uh, uh, clothes are uh, wearing all fashion. Simply, this company, I think, I know link in our play, computer mm -hmm. factory for plays, barons, the music today, shiny the floor, another, mm -hmm. very nice, yes, yes. Very, very nice. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Juancito, come on. I think some times ago, because anything matter, the office difference. Actually, I think one from office, music today, company, sunshine, the flower, the mm -hmm. current place. Thank you. Thank you, Juancito. Okay. okay. And what about the others? Uh, maybe Saul or Frank? Did you uh, did you know? Um, okay. I like the Saul. Okay. okay Saul uh, and Frank. Office fashion, computer, uh, fax machine. Actually, perhaps possible taken too long. Everything in the office is so simple. More more like a at home, this is a company uh, boring place. Okay, yeah, boring place. Mm -hmm. Thank you, and uh, Francisco. Okay, a long to go, possibility, fashion, technology, and a computer in machines, home, one office today, a ship. They eat, don't like. Mm -hmm. Perfect, yes. Don't like that place, right? So if you notice, it says, mm -hmm. I think this photo was taken a long time ago, possibly in the 1960s or 1970s. And then he describes, uh, because the office looks so old fashioned. Cuando decimos old fashioned, 
nos referimos que es anticuada o como, como antigua. Everything in the office is so simple. There's no modern technology, no computers, and blah, blah, blah. The office is not that bad, but it doesn't, well, the, the office doesn't have a lot of things that are necessary. Okay, so that's it. In conclusion, that person says, I don't like the office. It's such a boring place. Okay, so that's part of this audio, you know, a lot of words, okay? For example, you said fax machines, no computers, no modern technology. Yes, uh, the floor is so shiny. So that's it. We continue now. Florcita está por ahí. Sí, teacher. Okay, a ti te toca ahora, ¿verdad? <laughs> sí. Vamos a ver, Florcita, show time. ¿Cómo estamos ahí? ¿Más o menos listos? Ahorita ya veo. Ahorita. Ok, nice. Solo para recordar, eh, Francisco, a ti te tocaría el lunes. Lunes. Yes. Ready, eh, I song. Vaya. Una propia ahí. ¿eh? Yes. Vaya. Your love. Vaya. Ya está, ya está <risa> adelantando ahí. No, no, esa no. Va, esa no, dice. Bien, ok, aquí estamos con la computadora de Flor. Vamos a ver, Flor. Esa imagen de terror. De terror, no son hadas madrinas. Ok, Florcita. Se nos fue. Está le ayudo. Florcita. Le ayudo si quiere, Florcita. Hello, teacher. Hello. Ajá, ¿cómo estamos? Necesita asistencia. Deje de compartir. Yo lo voy a compartir. <coughs> Florcita. Que se nos hace fue, creo que está emocionado. Yes. Denle un minuto, tiene pánico escénico. No, pues sí. Nuestro... Teacher, si gusta, eh, díganle que eh, deje de compartir la. Usted puede cerrar la sesión, ¿verdad? Eh, ahorita estoy viendo esa opción. Vale, yo lo voy a compartir aquí la casa. Ya lo tienes tú. Deje de compartir. Aquí está. Ok. Listo, Florcita. ¿Cómo vamos? Teacher, pero ya no puedo verla, o sea, tengo problemas, no sé, de la red pasada. ¿No ve la imagen compartida? No, no, no puedo. Vaya. Voy a compartir y la voy a compartir nuevamente. Pero ahorita sí puede ver al teacher. No. Vaya. Bueno, a mí sí, sí me puede. Aquí ves a toda la, la, toda la clase. Voy a compartir ¿verdad? nuevamente. Ok. Yo sí la veo. Sí, sí. Muy bien. Ok. Vamos. Ok. Florcita. Eh, la voy a decir primero y después lo digo. 
eh, okay. con, con los respectivos. Okay. Magic girls no heaven. It's easy if you try. No help below us above us only sky. Imagine all the people living for today. Perfect. Imagine regular parents. Mm -hmm. There's uh, there's no having no no sustantivo. Mm -hmm. It's personal pronoun. Easy regular verbs. You personal pronoun. Try regular verbs. Below preposition as pronoun. Above adjective. Sky, no, in magic verb, the article, people know, living substantivo for preposition, it today adverbio. Adverbio. Okay, yes. Imagine the John Lennon. Yes. Hoy la va a cantar. Bye. Juancito siempre está pendiente ahí. Ok. <risa> Le va a cantar, Florcita. No. Bye. Si me ayudan. Bye. Magical love people. Bye. 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 Interesante esa letra. Ok. Thank you, Florcita. Very good. Ya se nos acabó el tiempo. Ok, so, thank you. Vaya, pero hice el, el ánimo de cantar, Florcita. Hay que reconocerle. ¿Verdad? Eso. Se merece. Se merece un claps. Very nice, Florcita. Thank you. Good song. Y muy filosófica realmente esa canción. Muy buena. Ok. I'm going to call you one by one. Lo llamo uno por uno. ¿Verdad? Recuerden que el día... This is the class number eight. Así que el día martes ya debe estar terminada la unidad dos. Y el midterm. Tenemos el midterm, ¿verdad? Así que si pueden avanzar entre semana, entre fin de semana, do it. Si no, pues pueden esperar hasta el lunes. Yo el me martes. quedo en la tarea nueve, creo. Que me pide unas palabras de ingresar. También tengo ese problema, igual que Juancito. Ahí me he quedado. Yo también. Creo que todos. Porque las primeras dos sí las pude hacer, las últimas tres ya no. Vaya, si no esperamos la clase del lunes, ¿verdad? Si ustedes quieren, o vemos ahí qué tal, ¿verdad? Cómo avanzamos. Yo igual iba a pedir ayuda, así que me parece bien. Ok. Ok, perfecto. Ya vamos a revisar entonces ahí. Este, lo llamo uno por uno y Flor, te quedas ahora por la de la sesión one and one, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Thank you, Florcita. Ok, vamos con Abel de Nilsson. No vino. No vino. ¿Cómo que estamos en clase? Presencial. Abigail Elizabeth, hi. Present. Thank you, Alexandra. Present, teacher. Perfect, Silvia. Present, teacher. Ok, Brenda. Nice. Present. Carlos, thank you. Douglas, sé que estás por ahí está un poco enfermo. Elia. Present. Nice. Flor. Sí, verdad. Sí, estamos súper. Súper, sí. Yeah. Ok, and we have now Frank. Present. Ok, Gisela. Present, teacher. Uh -huh. Mauricio está indispuesto. Juancito. Present. Ok, Julissa. Present. Carly. Present. Nice. Laura, eh, Marvin, Janet, no. Saúl. Ok, en Liz y Berito, creo que no se, no se conectó. Bueno, Liz, sí. Ok, so, eh, see you on. Monday, ya es viernesito, descansen, ya casi vamos a la mitad de este curso, ¿verdad? Ya recuerden que después de este curso se quedan, eh, pues, ya en diciembre, vacations, ¿verdad? No hay cursos en, en diciembre, ¿verdad? Por lo menos no de lunes a viernes, me parece, ¿verdad? Así que estaríamos finalizando bastante bien. 
Eh, questions, preguntas. Creo que no, ¿verdad? No. Perfecto. Frank, vamos contigo con lo de la canción el lunes. Gracias por, por cantar el resto. ¿Verdad? Por hacer una amena la clase. See you on Monday. Descansen viernesito. See you. Bye. 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 See you. Bye bye. Ok, eh, let's see. Flor, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué me comentas? Aquí, cansada. Cansada, pero te, ve, te he visto de ánimo. Últimamente han habido días. There have been some days, difficult days. También hay días difíciles. Pero en general te he visto un tanto eh, animada. Te veo más motivada para las clases. Creo que ya te diste cuenta yes. que estás avanzando, ¿verdad? Aunque sea poquito, aunque me cuesta, teacher. Little que, by little. Y, uh -huh. Cuéntame. Lo que siento que me cuesta es que bueno, ahorita estamos como mezclando cosas y más cosas. Entonces a veces como que mi mente me defrauda. Y cuando eh, tengo por lo menos eso de que de repente aparece eh, good, o que estoy hablando de una cosa y me pasan el chip a otra, es como que mi mente se descomputa, eso siento que me está costando. Vaya, te está costando el hecho de las estructuras gramaticales. Es que no. no, ¿cómo le explico? Vaya, estamos en la clase y vemos las oraciones. Como uh -huh. yo sé que lo que estoy haciendo lo hago bien, pero de repente si estoy en algo y me paso de una cosa a otra, eso es lo que me cuesta, pero... Siento que sí mi mente archiva un poco de lo que veo, pero quizás sí necesito un poco más de práctica. Sí, quizás. Sí, eh, por el tema este de, de cierto cambio de vocabulario, a veces quizás estamos más acostumbrados a una manera lineal, cosas básicas, pero sí estamos implementando otro tipo de palabras, ¿verdad? Ahora... ¿Verdad? Otras, otro tipo de situaciones. Eh, a mí me sucedía que cuando eh, me enseñaban algo o estaba aprendiendo algo, no lo aprendía de un solo, pero lo entendía al mes siguiente, a los dos meses o algo así. Es como yo iba como un poco retrasado eh, para el tema de entender ciertos eh, como es, contenidos. Y hay cosas que siento... Uh -huh. Hay cosas que siento que sí, las he mejorado bastante porque yo misma me reconozco y y ahora pues trato de que vengo y lo que tengo en mente y a veces en el día me acuerdo, vengo y lo anoto y cuando vengo en la tarde y hago la tarea, lo, lo busco o leo cosas así como aquel día que le pregunté, ¿verdad? Y mire, yo estuve revisando y, y yo vi que este significado era lo mismo, take care. Entonces estoy tratando de como venir y como repasar lo que, lo que hemos visto, de modo que mi mente tenga siempre fresco lo que vemos, porque siento eso. que es eso. Uh -huh. Porque si eso. no, pues sí siento que he mejorado un poco en ciertas cosas, cierto, siento que pronuncio mejor algunas cosas, hay otras que ya me las puedo, que en los otros módulos atrás todavía no, ahora siento que ya un poco mejor, sí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Muy bien, sí, de hecho, eh, está bastante bien, Florcita. Recuerda que siempre van a haber cosas nuevas o algo que se nos dificulte, ¿verdad? Pero la práctica, práctica eh, y articular, decirlo, ¿verdad? Porque a veces, como te decía, ¿verdad? a veces solo leemos, a veces solo estamos así escuchando, pero al articular, al pronunciar, eso te va a dar una, una mayor fluidez porque si te das cuenta ahora, compárate ahora con el nivel 2, ¿cómo estabas? hay cierta diferencia. Y en el nota. primero quería llorar y me quería ir. Yo <ríe> recuerdo que, que, que muchos en el primero están como que, ¿qué hago aquí? No sé, y se frustra. Eh, mucha gente eh, al frustrarse, pues, de, hay deserción. Entonces, el, el, por eso que los primeros módulos, no sé, me han dado varios primeros módulos, quizás han notado que intento motivar a la gente. ¿Verdad? Por eso, porque en otros grupos se les va, 
se les van los, los alumnos. Entonces, sí. el arrancar, el iniciar es lo que cuesta. Pero ahora que estás ahí, va bien, Florcita. ¿Verdad? Ay, Así que bien. ánimo. No. <risa> Recuerda, es un proceso y hay que disfrutar el proceso. Hay que disfrutar todo esto. ¿Verdad? Porque a veces no, queremos... lo disfrutamos en la clase. Excelente. La clase nos motiva. Me alegra. Eso es algo bueno porque nos motiva. Si la clase fuera aburrida, creo que nadie quisiera entrar y son pocos los que faltan siempre. Eh, eso me alegra, Florcita. Y se trata de hacer broma, reírnos y todo porque hemos tenido un día estresante, pesado y, y, y pues Además, a estas alturas de, del año se acumulan muchas más cosas, ¿verdad? El trabajo, entonces, ah, sí, bueno. me, me alegra que, que, que te divertían. Si te das cuenta, el grupo está bien ameno, está bastante ameno, así que... Sí, está bien, así es, y eso nos motiva a todos. Claro. Así que voy a tratar de seguir así para que, aunque sea con retraso, pero que vaya. No, oh, ahí vas avanzando, Florcita, ahí vas. Así que ánimo, ¿verdad? Gracias por tu canción. Estuvo bien genial. Sé que te tomaste tu tiempo en hacerlo, ¿verdad? Se nota que trabajaste mucho. Pero es estamos... que tengo problemas. Yo, yo soy honesta, ¿no? O sea, es la primera vez que comparto eh, pantallas, no lo sé hacer y la computadora no sé, pero me da problemas siempre. No hay problema. Mira, el punto es... Eh, practicar, si te das cuenta, para eso sirve este tipo de experiencias, para ver qué más se puede aprender, ¿verdad? Y cosas, de eso se trata, son cosas nuevas, Florcita, ¿verdad? Que, que vamos a ir viendo, así que ánimo, ¿verdad? Gracias sí. por tu actitud positiva sí. siempre, ¿verdad, Florcita? Así que eh, nos vemos Gracias. el lunes, descansa, ¿ok? Primero, yo, sí, yo mande. Sí, yo mande, ánimo. Adiós. Bye bye.